some 220 kilometers from Tokyo, straddling the boundary between Kashiwazaki City and Kariwa Village, the Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear power station in Niigata Prefecture feeds electric power to the Tokyo metropolitan area to help satisfy the demand for electricity that continues to grow as the 21st century approaches. Kashiwazaki city is situated more or less in the center of Niigata prefecture. It has a population of some 90,000. Its principal industries are manufacturing and trade, and it is now also developing tourist facilities along its attractive coastline. Kariwa village has a population of approximately 5,500. It has grown mainly on the basis of agriculture by making the most of the rich natural surroundings it is blessed with. The site of the power station was at one time an area of barren sand dunes. The people of Kashiwazaki and Kariwa had long wanted to develop this stretch of barren land. At the same time, the Kashiwazaki Kariwa area already had a history of energy production. Endowed with oil and gas deposits, it was Japan's largest oil field from the 1910s to the 1920s. But eventually, the work of developing its energy resources shifted from oil to atomic energy. On a site of approximately 4.2 million square meters, it was planned to build a power station which, in consideration of the bedrock formations in this area of sand dunes, would be lowered half into the ground and have four reactors on the south side and three on the north side. All units from unit number one to seven were completed in July 1997, the result of 19 years of construction work. In December 1978, construction work began on unit number one. To prepare for construction of the foundation, the ground was excavated to a depth of 45 meters down into solid bedrock. The remains of boreholes made during site investigations were left, their pattern forming a cross, and the bedrock that would support the reactor building was exposed. Massive quantities of reinforcement bars were combined into a densely layered network and arranged to form the foundation of the reactor building. The primary containment vessel which would enclose the reactor was built. The reactor pressure vessel, the heart of the power station, was installed. and the large turbine was carefully set in position. Following this, the fuel was loaded. In September 1985, unit number one with a capacity of 1,100 megawatts began commercial operation. The experience gained in building unit number one and the technology that had been developed were put to full use as work continued. On units number two and three, an all-weather construction method was employed, which made it possible to work free from the effects of wind and snow. A large block assembly method was applied in the construction of units number four and five. Materials were pre-assembled on site and hoisted into place in single lifts by giant crane.
In addition, a modular method was employed. The internal structures were assembled and fitted in position to form a single monolithic block for installation. By applying the latest technology and developing methods to fit the circumstances, the quality and standards of work were further raised and the time spent on the construction shortened. The entire project, from unit number one to unit number seven, went forward according to schedule. Once a year, everyone who worked at the station took part in a meeting to pledge themselves to safe operation and work safety. When construction of the power station was at its peak, about 10,000 people were working here. Wind and snow make the winter in this area a harsh one. The construction and operation of the power station was only possible through the combined efforts of a large number of people. This is an on-site environmental management building. Radioactivity levels in the surrounding district are analyzed here. Levels of radioactivity are checked at monitoring posts installed on-site. This ensures constant confirmation that there are no effects from the radiation that accompanies operation of a power station. The service hall welcomes 100,000 visitors a year, including many from overseas. The workings of the nuclear power station are explained in an easily understood manner by means of models and image displays. In addition, the station, including each of the generating units, is open to the public and the number of visitors who see the inside of the reactor buildings is growing year by year. Thus, the public are gaining a better understanding of nuclear power stations. Station personnel enjoy recreational group activities during the lunch break, such as flower arrangement, and running. Design, construction, operation. In all the processes that are followed at the power station, the people who work here take it upon their own shoulders to continue to study and to devise improvements in the activities they are concerned with, so as to further increase reliability. The main control room is the operational nerve center. Here, teams working in shifts maintain surveillance 24 hours of the day to dispatch power without a single moment's break. Operating teams hold detailed discussions. These help the operators to increase their knowledge of nuclear technology. In addition, daily maintenance patrols are conducted inside the reactor buildings and turbine buildings.
Electricity dispatched from the Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear power station is delivered via substations in Tokyo and Shizuoka prefectures to feed the power network that covers the entire Kanto region. The training of skilled operational personnel is important in running a highly reliable nuclear power station. Several times a year, the station operators use simulators at the BWR Operator Training Center to learn the operational skills required in times of emergency. the nuclear power technical training center. Here technicians involved in regular inspections and repair work hone their technical skills. The nuclear power station is operated through the efforts of these and many other personnel. Progress is being made in landscaping work designed to surround the nuclear power station with rich greenery. Approximately 80% of the site is scheduled to become a green area. Kashiwazaki Kariwa is richly blessed by nature. Summer brings refreshing sea breezes. Living creatures throughout the area busily proclaim the harmony of nature. The Kashiwazaki Gion Festival is a true display of the vitality of the town. Every year staff from the power station join the circles of dancers, strengthening their relationships with the people of the area. Kashiwazaki Kariwa greets the bountiful autumn season. The region has rich cultural traditions. The Ayako Mai dance is an ancient custom. It is said to have been brought to Kashiwazaki some 600 years ago, during the Muromachi period. This traditional art is said to be the origin of the Kabuki theater and is still preserved by the younger generations of the locality. The spirit of tradition is also alive in industry. The making of Kadoide Washi, Japanese paper, in Takayanagi town has a history of some 300 years. Strong and beautiful, Washi is made one sheet at a time by dedicated craftsmen and is still made today as it was in the past. Niigata Prefecture is one of Japan's most typical rice farming areas. In this region, blessed with good rice and sweet water, the tradition of making sake or rice wine is still very much alive.
With a campus zone and well equipped with public facilities, the area is making use of funds, including grants made available, in building a town for the 21st century that is pleasant to live in. Fully using the technology we have fostered and aiming for even greater safety and reliability, we have developed and demonstrated the effectiveness of an advanced boiling water reactor, ABWR, and adopted it for units number 6 and 7. July 1997, unit number 7 began commercial operation. The combined installed capacity of units number 1 to 7 is now 8,212 megawatts. Aiming for harmony between nature, people and nuclear energy and filling the role of producing a fully stable supply of electric power, the Kashiwazaki Kariwa Nuclear Power Station, the largest facility of its kind in the world, continues today in full operation. <laughs> 